Hi Libra, how are you doll? I hope you're doing good. Okay, I'm doing swell today. Um, so, I just wanna come to you guys and do a reading. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna really talk about too much right now. We're just gonna get this reading started, see what the energy is like for the end of October. I'm anxious. I don't know if you guys are anxious, but you know, I just know God has some good things in store for us. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so I laid cards out. I shuffled everything already for you guys. Okay, so let's get started. We have the Nine of Pentacles here, which is symbolizing growth, being able to um, experience the fruits of your labor, being able to reap the benefits uh, it's harvesting season, okay? Then we have the lovers here. Um, we have deception. We have her golden grace. We have bring love into the situation. Delight, retirement, king of pentacles, and the emperor. Then we also have guidance and the moon. When there is good omen, okay? X. Closure of your okay, so this could definitely be like an ex situation where this ain't bring love into the situation. Hmm, let's see what's going on. So, what decks I feel like spirit is calling me towards this special deck here, and we're gonna go with. This thick as well. So let's see what's going on. Spirit, what do you have for my leaders for the end of October? My leaders for the end of October. Can y'all see my hand? I don't think so. Let me come in a little bit. Okay, so we have, okay, this is looking real nice, real nice. Okay, so we have um, the four wands, which is signifying a unit. It is signifying uh, stability. It is signifying uh, like the four wands, four walls, you know, stability holding up the home. Um, it's definitely a good card to start off with that's for sure uh marriage could be in a situation for some of you guys uh conflict is definitely we have the five of wands which is conflict uh that's in reverse and five six sign, sign, <laughs> signifies i don't want to i don't know why i wanted to say significant significant signifies <laughs> Lord, but yeah, this is definitely conflict in reverse. So it's a lot of passion here in this situation as well. You could be getting messages of passion and love. Um, ones definitely signifies creative, uh, creativeness, a uh, willpower, desire, drive. You know, um, yes, most definitely it could also be passion. So like good sex or you know anything. Of, that nature looking good. Um, and we have the eight of wands, which signifies messages, incoming, swift movement, stuff like that. And it's conflict in reverse. So something could definitely be evading the situation. But we also have a page of source. So maybe that is what the conflict could have been. Somebody who was immature speaking and things of that nature. And it could be being removed from your current situation. What else spirit do we have to leave room? What else do we have to leave with? Okay. All right. So, girl, excuse me. 
we have the hanged man. So the hanged man is like a change of perspective. Somebody could be uh, switching a view on this situation and seeing things from a different um, uh, light. Uh, the hanged man also signifies as releasing things, um, you know, letting things go. Um, and sometimes this releasing your perspective in order to become a unit, okay? So somebody could be releasing some things. Spirit, give me something for the four of ones and the five of ones in reverse. Four of ones and the five of ones in reverse. Mm -mm. I did that. Four of ones and the five of ones in reverse. Okay. So we have burdens. So, okay. Okay. And what do we have for the five of ones? Uh -uh. And what do we have for the, even though it came out on this side though, but I'm going to go ahead and see this here. So, okay. Wow. So this is something to a very, okay. So I guess that's what the deception was out here on the um, grid here. There could have definitely been the deception that is coming from a betrayal. So a sacrifice uh, could be incoming messages from a Knight of Cups, a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this is a burden to somebody, this uh, relationship and no conflict. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be in a good relationship, a good four ones, a good unit, and it's no conflict involved. And that's a burden to somebody. It could be a burden to this Cancer Pisces, Scorpio that wanted to see you in defeat, you know, or, or sacrificed or um, seeing things from a different light here. Uh, or they could have definitely been bringing in messages to try to get you to see from a different light so that you could be um, demise here. Or that you could be, you know, just feeling defeated overall. But yeah, let's keep going. So, what do we have here? Anything else you would like to tell us about this situation, Spirit? Okay, and the King of Swords in reverse. So, like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in reverse. And the King of Swords is like, you know, the King of anything. Pardon me. Besides the ace, uh, the king of anything is like, you know, um, control, the overseer, the head of the household, the ones that you're supposed to uh, seek and follow uh, for when they're upright and righteous, right? So he's in the reverse. Somebody wants you in the reverse, um, just like this sword is in the reverse going down. It's in the same direction as this defeat card. So... Somebody could have, Cancer Pisces Scorpio could have wanted to see a Libra Gemini Aquarius in the reverse. Um, making you cold and moody and, you know, giving you bad advice. Or or this person could have definitely been cold and, and moody and trying to get you to be uh, cruel and, you know, manipulative or just play on your weaknesses. Okay, and somebody was working hard too, working real hard on it. Eight of Pentacles, really, really hard on this situation. Wow. So the lovers, deception, you have grace, bring love into the situation. Okay, I feel like this, okay, it says guidance. Okay, safety in your beacon of light. So, bring love into the situation. I feel like this self-love and then we have retirement and delight. So, I feel like the more that you pull yourself within, you'll be able to, um, you know, reap the benefits of your harvest. Okay. Um, we also had the King of Pentacles out here in the Emperor. So, this could very well be uh, your energy that you're standing in, his energy that he or she could be standing in at this time. But, oh, yes, I do feel like this lover situation is deception. Let's see. Um, this spirit wants to tell us anything. I'm being called to this deck. 
because it resonates with the display of shit on this. Okay, we have failure. Okay, so see, they're feeling burdened, feeling defeated, feeling as if they have failed, okay, with this situation trying to bring conflict into your home, trying to make you feel burdened with your home situation, trying to, you know, wanting to make you feel as if it's hard to hold things together. Mm. Anything else, Spirit? <laughs> the lovers came out again. <laughs> it's deception. Let's see. Okay. Work torment okay trying to make you feel as if this love situation that you had was torment or it was going to be hard work okay this person was holding you back for wealth okay holding you back in this situation wanting you to see working hard to to get you to see this working hard to get you in, into the reverse and it's pretty much torture. Yeah, this person is um, finding comfort in what they're doing. Okay. They wealth and comfort. They want to be wealthy and they want to be comfortable. Okay. I don't know. Are y'all seeing this? So we have wealth and comfort. They want to be comfortable. And you could have been off of your bag or whatever. But Spirit is saying bring love into the situation and he's going to guide you. Okay. We have interference. Exactly. They want to interfere in what's going on in your life path and where Spirit has you at the moment. Okay. Mm. All right. We have exploration and daughter of air. So... I feel like this is you, Libra, wanting to uh, explore, okay, wanting to uh, excel, move forward. You are going to push forward. Um, Daughter of Air is the page of uh, swords, and it talks about someone not being, it could be all talk, but she definitely is not all talk, Miss Card. She's definitely... You take her for face value. She has to draw her sword. She will draw her sword. And some people may look at it in a certain light, you know, look at it from a different perspective of which she um, presents. So most definitely. The Page of Swords also talks about, I don't want to skip over that, but it's curiousness, you know, and just mental energy overall. But yes, definitely wants to explore. Okay, or maybe they want to explore her mental energy and she ready to draw her fucking sword. Don't play. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, that's spirit. Okay, mother of water. So this could be someone um, older as well. This could be a female water sign, earth sign. Any Leo, any uh, fire sign, any water sign, and we have the sun. So things are going to be revealed in this situation. Things are definitely going to be revealed. We have judgment at the bottom. So judgment is real close to justice, I feel. I feel as if somebody also could be 38, 20 in this situation, 52, 25, um, 28, 58, 83, 82, 22, 25, and 38 or 23. But judgment is very close to the justice card to me because um, how can you be judged without justice being, you know, within it in some form? Like judgment is being able to reflect being able to look back on things like he's looking in the mirror it's a reflection 
he is being able to reflect on your past, on your history. And I feel as if that's justice as well. When you're able to understand what's had, what has taken place in your past to bring you to this current present, but this current moment. Um, let's keep going. I want to get some, um, let's see what the spirit has to say about this situation. Uh, somebody is trying to hold you back from a 4 1 situation, trying to create burdens where there is none. Um, trying to bring you situations that will end you, okay, and bring them wealth. So we have look is on your side, though, and work through your fears. So don't be afraid, okay? And we have Sagittarius and Scorpio. We're actually. Uh, rolling over into Scorpio now, aren't we? Yep. So it's time to take action and prosperity lies ahead. Uh, I love how we have all of the colors in like two in one. It's so cute. But yeah, definitely it's time to take action, y'all. At the bottom of the deck, we have the energy is gaining momentum. So it's definitely, you can feel it, the uh, energy shift, the energy change that's going on right now. Anything you want to tell us? Anything else you want to tell us? Okay. Her eye ever open. Her eye ever open. And we have sensitivity. Read the energy. Empower service. And I feel as if this is what you've been doing. You have definitely been reading the energy of people. You you are sensitive. You, you've been sensitive your whole life. But you are sensitive emotionally as far as being able to pick up on others' energies. And being able to read other people's energies very well. You could be 21, 34, 25, 35... 24, 52, 53, 54, 51, 21, 23, 32, 42, 24, 25, and 50. I said that already. So, yes. Um, most definitely, you guys, remain balanced in these times, okay? The most high is definitely keeping track okay of everything nothing is gonna go unnoticed okay all right spirit is with you he is with us all always shielding guiding and protecting us we got guidance here as well you are definitely guided and you're aware you have done the reflecting, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. Just hang in there. And at the bottom of the deck, we got all these cards. We got spiritual growth. We got memories, healing from the past. Wow, this is a lot right there. Memories and healing from the past. So uh, definitely... You are being able to read the energy. You may have woken up. You did some reflecting. Your eyes ever open. The third eye chakra has been cleansed and de decalcified. And you are aware of what has taken place in the past towards you. You are aware of the things that people have tried and the games that people have played. Your eyes ever open and you're very sensitive to energy now because you know what those things look like when you come across them and you pick up on it very well. And God is definitely saying that you have had spiritual growth. Okay, you have definitely had spiritual growth. And he has seen the hard work that you have put in. And I feel like that's why we had the Eight of Pentacles up here on the board before we started. And you're going to reap the benefits of your rewards. Um, I mean, you're going to reap the rewards, okay, of your hard work and what you have been through and what you've endured for, for as long as you have, okay? Some people may not feel as if you're deserving. Some people may not 
may have seen your struggle, okay? Then we have leaving. So there could be somewhere that you are relocating, you're moving, you're picking up and you're going, you're growing, okay? <laughs> All right, so you may be leaving some people behind, even if not physically, mentally, as far as spiritually, as far as being able to grow and have growth, you are definitely leaving people behind. These could be family members, lovers, um, friends, whatever it is. You are outgrowing. You are definitely having spiritual growth and you, you're you leaving, okay? Your eyes ever open. All right, we have self-employment. <laughs> Look at God, okay? We definitely needed that one right there, most definitely. I don't know if you all can agree, but that is something that is definitely should be in the plans for a lot of people because of the way that things are set up and the way that things are going right now, okay? All right, so let us card out. Spirit is saying get some rest. Get some rest and manifest, okay? Love you guys. Bye.